And now we're going to be picking our colonies from our plate into our 96 well uh, tea can plate here. And we're going to be using sterile technique. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it in such a way so that you remember where you've gone and that you don't pick into the same well twice or you don't pick the same colony twice. And how to do this all with sterile technique. So as you can see, I'm doing this on a black background. This gives me good contrast between the colonies. So all these colonies are very, very clear. If I was to do it over here, you can still see the colonies, but it's just a little bit easier to see them uh, when they're on this black surface. So I'm going to turn my plate around, open it up, and now I'm going to want to be picking individual colonies into my plate. So if you pick them in an area that's too dense, then you might pick up multiple colonies, which is no good because that will throw up your results for our screen. Um, in order to actually inoculate one of these wells, you're going to grab a toothpick, quickly flame it, and then you're going to pick a single colony. Now when I pick a colony, it disappears. It's very hard to see. It turns into a, from a colony to just a little uh, a blip. And then I just put my toothpick right in there, and then I can leave it in there. And I'm actually going to leave it in a, until I pick the very last uh, colony. And this tells me that I've already uh, inoculated that one. Whereas if I was to take it out, then I might get confused. <clears throat> lose my numbering and then go back into that one. So we'll just do a few more. So I've flamed it. Uh, I pick a colony, go into the well, get another toothpick, flame it, pick a colony, go into a well. If you want to go a little bit faster, what you can do is grab a few toothpicks and kind of line them all out like that. Flame them all off. And these got a little bit hot, <laughs> they got a little bit charred there, which is, you don't really want to do that, but as long as it cools down, you won't kill your colony. And then I'm going to pick in, pick, go in, pick, go in. And now another way to do this, um, if you have a lot of thick agar and you want to go a little bit faster, uh, is you just stab the colony. Oops, see this is not going to work because my agar is too thin. But sometimes if you stab it, oh, I just contaminated it. I'm going to throw that one out. If you stab it, oh, it's find a thicker part like that. Sometimes the toothpick will stand up. And you can stab a bunch of colonies. You get like 10 toothpicks on there. And then you can pull them out and inoculate your, uh, your well. But this plate, uh, the agar is a little bit too thin on it. So I'll just pick four more. <laughs> and three, well that's two, three, and four. So then we would just do this for 96 uh, of the wells, and then at the end we'd slowly want to take out these two picks. We'll just uh, do this for the last two, just to show you how to take these two picks out. So do a wielding it here. So we'll just pretend that we've just filled this entire thing up now. In order to get rid of the toothpicks, I just pull them up two at a time. Uh, I got three at that time actually. But you want to be very, very careful uh, to not drop them, which is why I only try to get two at a time. If you try to take too much more than that, then you will lose uh, one of your toothpicks and it might splash into another well and contaminate it. You need to be very careful at this point not to cross-contaminate it because that will mess up the result of your screen. Uh, after we pull out all of our toothpicks, you can even pull them out one at a time, that works too. You just uh, cap it. Uh, we would wrap it into cellophane, tape it up, and throw it in the incubator. So we'll be back and we'll show you that step in a little bit.